Hi, and welcome to Mods. We're keeping you connected to inspiring science with virtual camp discovery brought to you by Citrix, the museum's official innovation partner. Have you ever seen sargassum seaweed? South Florida beaches are filled with this floating brown algae each summer. Today, help us explore where it comes from and why there is so much of it. Hi, I'm out here today at Von D. Meisel Eula Johnson State Park, just around the corner from the museum. Now, especially if you live in South Florida in the summertime, you see a lot of this stuff on the beach. But what is this stuff? This is actually what's called a macroalgae, a plant-like creature that is called sargassum, a type of seaweed which originates in the Sargasso Sea and makes its way here in the currents, especially on the Gulf Stream that passes right by our shores. It's a naturally occurring thing. It's naturally occurring algae and uh, beds of this can cover the surface of the ocean for miles at a time and provide habitat for numerous fish species, uh, turtles, a good feeding ground for birds and uh, other predators from the ocean, uh, and then washes up on the shoreline. And as it washes up on the shoreline, it decomposes on the beach, adding nutrients to the beach and nesting grounds for the crabs and birds and turtles that come up on the beach. But just like anything else, uh, too much of anything is a little too much for me. So in certain conditions, like we've been getting here in the summer, as the ocean gets hotter due to climate change and as nutrients are added to the ocean, uh, specifically from uh, the increased use of fertilizers and deforestation in the Amazon basin, adding those extra nutrients to a warmer ocean just creates a more fertile ground for this stuff to really, really pile up. And as it piles up, too much of this can cloud out the sunlight of species in the ocean, like corals that need to photosynthesize. And too much of it piling up on the beach can just be a hassle for us humans, as not only it just kind of has a stench to it, as the plant matter itself is decaying and the little micro species inside, but it also releases a gas that can be uh, fairly noxious to people with respiratory issues. Uh, and also, just like anything else in the ocean, there's little, little critters that live inside of it. So if you can see inside of this stuff, there are these little pockets here. They almost look like little berries, but these are actually filled with oxygen. And that's what allows the sargassum to float on the surface of the ocean. And inside all of this is, like I said, nesting ground for a lot of different fish species, uh, even bigger fish like mahi-mahi and marlin and stuff will lay their eggs in here and things like to hide out in here. And specifically, the larvae of jellyfish will like to uh, spread their nests in here. And as those get grow a little bigger, just big enough to bite you, sting you, uh, they will sting you in just little increments in kind of a, a gnarly thing we have down here called sea lice. So too much of this, uh, can be excessive, but it is a naturally forming thing. Uh, and as it decomposes, it will feed the beach nutrients, uh, especially a beach like this that has been eroded, that can be helpful, but there's quite a lot of it, especially this summer. So I hope that clarifies a little bit of what you see when you go out onto the beach and see it covered like this, uh, exactly what that is and where it's coming from. So we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Virtual Camp Discovery. Special thanks to Citrix, Mod's official innovation partner for powering this series. Please stay safe and connected with Mods by visiting our social channels at MODSFTL.